Hello everyone, today our topic is how to auto forward telegram messages to discord. So today our objective is that whenever we get a new messages on telegram channel, we want to forward this message automatically to our discord channel. For that we are going to create an integration between telegram and discord. For creating this integration, I am going to use public connect, which is an amazing software for automation and integration. In public connect, I am going to use triggers and action. In trigger application, I will be using telegram. In action application, I will be using Discord. How I'm going to create this integration? For that, let me take you to my computer screen. I hope all you can see my computer screen. And today our objective is that we want to forward the messages that we get on my Telegram channel to my Discord channel. And I also want to automate this process so that this can save time and energy for me. And for that, I'm going to create an integration between Telegram and Discord. For creating this integration, I will open a new tab and search for tablet.com. And this will take me to this page. Here we have two options, sign in and sign up for free. If you don't have any account with Public Connect, you can just sign up for free and it will take only two minutes of your time and you will get hundreds of tasks free every month. Or if you already have an account, you can just sign in. And it will take you to this page. These are all the tools that Pabli offers and we are going to use Pabli Connect. For that, I'm going to click here on Access Now button under Pabli Connect. And it will direct us to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here, this is the workflow section and we can see all the workflow that we will create here. And this is the folder section. We can create new folders from here and we can save any workflow in any particular folder. Now we are going to create a workflow. For that, I'm going to click here on this blue button called Create Workflow. And this window will pop up. Here, I have to name my workflow. So I will name it as my objective, which is Forward Telegram Message to Discord. Now I'm going to select the folder where I want to save my workflow in, which is Home. So I will just click on Create. And it will take me to this most important window of my workflow. Here we have two boxes, triggers and action. These two are the main principle on which my workflow works on. Trigger says when this happens, action says do this. So trigger will be the first step that will get executed in my workflow, then action will just follow that. So we will set up my trigger application first. And for my trigger application, we will search telegram. I will select telegram. And now I will give a trigger event. So I will open this tab and set webhook slash watch update will be my trigger event. Now I have to connect my telegram bot with my public connect account. So I will click on connect. I will click on add new connection. And for connecting my account, I have to give a token here. So for connecting your account, you need to follow all this instruction. You need to follow all these steps and you can connect telegram account and public connect. Now I will go back to my telegram group and search for bot father and now I will create a new bot so I will click here and click on slash new bot I will name it as pabli7415 I will send this now I have to give a username so my username will be so my username will be pabli7415 underscore bot and while giving the username, you need to keep one thing in mind that your username should always end with underscore bot. So I will send this. And here we can see this have created a token for me and this is my bot. So I will copy this token and I will go back to public connect and I will paste that token here and I will click on save. So this has created a connection between my telegram and public connect here. Now we'll go back to telegram and I will start my bot and now let's go back to public connect and I will click on save and send test request button. So here we can see it is waiting for response. For getting this response, let's go back to telegram and let's create a new group. I will add the members. And I need to add my bot too. So I will add that. And I will create a new group. I will name it as Telegram Discord. And I will create this group. So this is the new group. 
and let's open this and we have these two members here and what I need to do is I need to give admin permission to my bot so for that I'm going to use my mobile phone I will open a telegram on that and I will open this group and I will give permission to my bot let's refresh this and here we can see my bot has admin permission now I'm going to send a message so this will be my message hello team this is a testing message and in the end regards so I will send this and I will go back to public connect and here we can see we have this response here and our message is hello team this is a testing message and in the end regards so we have the same message in the response section and these are the other details for my message and now what we want is we want to send this particular message to our discord channel now for that I'm going to set up my action step I will click here now I will give my action application which will be discord I will search for discord I will click here and now I will give an action event which will be send channel message which will be in HTML form so I will click here and now I will connect now we have to give a webhook URL so this webhook will be my bridge between my discord and probably connect so for getting this webhook I will go back to my discord channel so this is the channel telegram discord test channel that we are using for forwarding messages now I'm going to click here on the setting button I will go to integrations and I will click here on webhooks and I will create a new webhook so I will click here and I will name my webhook as demo and now I will copy this webhook URL and I will go back to public connect and I will paste it here now I have to map the message that I have in my trigger response so I will map it from there so I will click here and I will open this response and I will select the required detail so this is my message and I have mapped this here so my bot name will be telegram test and here I have given a webhook URL then I have mapped my message and then I have given a bot name and the question is why I have used mapping here so by mapping I can retrieve the data from my trigger event and I will get the real data in the real time now we will scroll down and click on save and send test request button and here we can see my application is processed so let's go back to my discord channel I will close this and here we can see I have a new message in my telegram channel from the bot name telegram test and my message is hello team this is a testing message and in the end it is saying regards so here we can see that we are getting the message that we have sent it on our telegram group or channel and this was our objective and our integration is working successfully now to check this again let's go back to telegram and I will type a new message here so this will be my new message hello team testing is successful and in the end regards so I will send this and let's go back to discord and here we can see we have this new message instantly which says hello team testing is successful and regards so this is the same message that we have just sent on telegram let's go back to public connect so here we can see that our workflow is working successfully so let's summarize what we did here First we have set up our trigger and our trigger application was telegram bot and our trigger event here was set webhook slash watch updates. Then we have set up our action and our action application was discord and our action event was send channel message. So this is how I have created my workflow and you can also create this workflow by following all the steps that I did in my workflow and also I will put the link of my workflow in the description so you can check it out from there. Thank you. Not just these applications, you can automate and integrate a lot more applications like this using Tabli Connect. If you need any help or if you have any doubt, you can email us at support at .com. If you have any queries, you can post them at forum.pabli.com or if you have any issue with the pricing of Pabli, you can connect on this link. And if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.